before 6 a.m. half hour, the morning insiders took us to the heart of Ford Chicago plant here. And robotics like these can lead to greater productivity, but also disrupt what jobs look like in the 21st century. As hundreds of new robots move into the Torrance Avenue plant, morning insider Vince Durasoli takes us inside the changing face of employment. They aren't R2-D2, but the movements of these real-life robots are mesmerizing. After a billion-dollar investment, some 600 are now helping build new vehicles at Ford's Torrance plant. I don't think you're going to find a more technical system in the world than what we've got right here. Ford insists the robots aren't pushing workers aside. The automaker employs 5,000 here and says that includes 500 new employees brought on specifically for the robotic system. It also retrained veteran staff to adapt to the new technology. Well, I'm a tech guy, I'm a nerd, so you know, it was like easy peasy for me, but for us, a lot of older people with more seniority, you know, it took them a while to catch on. Automation may be what keeps this plant viable, but it also begs the question, are the levels of employment here sustainable in the future? We brought that question to minds innovating with mechanics daily. The robotics lab at Northwestern University. So the nature of employment might be changing. Professor Todd Murphy says with industries growing more automated each day, certain jobs may be disappearing, but that's not the whole story. If you're talking about hundreds of robots in a manufacturing plant, all of those robots are going to require constant care. That's certainly people being employed, but that's also people being employed potentially for something different. Figuring out how to retrain workers is a challenge stretching beyond a single industry. That is a real consequence for what the job opportunities are going to be. A switch to robotics also has its quirks. It is amazing how often robots don't work. At certain tasks, robots just aren't as precise as humans. It's why Amazon still uses people to pack its boxes, and Ford needs manual workers to fit its doors onto a frame. With time and innovation, that will change. But will the global workforce be ready for the repercussions? What is their model for automation and robotics that makes the sum greater than the parts? On the assembly line, Vince Girasoli, CBS2 News. And the U.S. ranks seventh in the world when it comes to the reliance on robots in factories with approximately 200 robots for every 10,000 assembly line workers.